On today's episode of Globe at Riding with Trey, I take you to Alabama Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. You're going to see where Elvis Presley once lived with his parents and also find out where this photo was captured of Elvis once upon a time. This is the house, 462 Alabama Avenue. I interviewed one of his girlfriends, Barbara Hearn, and she's going to share some really great stories from that home. It's right across the street from Lauderdale Courts. Next time you're in Memphis, you're going to be able to visit after watching this episode. So go get your popcorn ready. It's going to be good. Check out this photo of Elvis leaning up against a car. This was his first car, a 1942 Lincoln Zephyr. Elvis's dad got this for him. I'm not sure how much it cost. I don't think it was too much. It was a green color car. And where exactly was Elvis at in this photo? Where was this photo captured? It was right here. This is Alabama Avenue. Elvis was on the other side of that pole. And standing right here, leaning up against his car, literally right there. And I know that because of this fire hydrant. You see the fire hydrant up above the hood? That fire hydrant is right here. Still today on Alabama Avenue. And the home used to be right there on that land, on that hill across the street. Elvis was right here. Once upon a time in his life parked. So now we know where his parking spot probably was here out front of this house, 462 Alabama Avenue. Elvis and his mom and his dad, and I believe Dodger, his grandmother, lived on the bottom floor. And there was a Jewish family that lived up above on the top floor. So it was a little apartment, a home converted into two apartments. And here's a story from Barbara Hearn, one of Elvis Presley's girlfriends, of a memory that happened at Alabama Avenue. I think I read where you went over to Alabama Avenue. Yes, uh huh. Could you tell me about that place? Like, what? What? How was that house that he well, lived in? That was about 1954, I think. Yeah, it was 54. I went with Dixie, but you know, I met, I've seen Dixie lately, and. About five or six years ago, I guess, uh, we were down at the Peabody Hotel at the same time. And uh, I brought that up to her. She didn't remember it at all. She's worse than I am. Wow. But, uh, I, we, went to, we went together. And we didn't have a car. I have no idea how we got there. I guess we rode the bus all the way across town. Yeah. Because we were from South Memphis, and that place was in North Memphis. But uh, the only thing I remember is... I went in the apartment there on Alabama Street, and I, I remember what it looked like. And, but mostly we sat out on the porch, so it must have been fine weather. And uh, at one point, you're way too young to remember this, but in the old days, there were hamburger joints long before McDonald's or any of them. And you could get a bag of hamburgers for a dollar. They were they were a little bit bigger than the Crystal Burgers. Oh, okay. They were a hamburger, and you could get a whole bag of them. And Mr. Presley left walking and went to one of these little restaurants and bought a bag of hamburgers and brought us back. And at that point, they had less than my family did, and my family didn't have much. But uh, they didn't have much money at all. And I was very impressed that... Uh, he would go out and buy with one bag or two bags, I don't know, of hamburgers for everybody sitting out there on the porch. But I have no idea how we got home or, or anything. But Dixie and I went there, and, uh, and it was nice. And, and that's when I first met Mrs. Presley. Was that and, Alabama uh, Avenue? Yeah. Uh-huh. And it, was, that a, was it a little home? Was it like a little house? No, no. It was a... Uh, you know, I can't remember real good, but it was a big house. It, it was cut up into apartments. Apartments. So he had they had one one apartment in there. Like, yeah, and I'm thinking. I'm not positive, honey, so don't quote me on this. But I think there were maybe four apartments: two downstairs and two upstairs. 
I'm not really real sure. But they were on the downstairs area. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know I've done my research, and the actual land where that apartment building would have, or the home would have uh, stood at, is still actually there, but the interstate now is running through. Uh, yeah, the house is not still there, is it? No, the house is oh. not still there. Uh, All right. That, that whole street got wiped out, but that little portion of land where Elvis's home was mm. is like the act, the only land that survived. I see. Well, have you seen pictures of that house? I saw a picture of... Uh, I, 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 I have seen one picture of it, and there's a picture of Elvis out front of the house at his car. Have you ever well, seen that? No, there, there, there's one um, on the internet someplace of the house, the whole house. And I, I, I remember, I think it had like bushes out front. I don't remember that. You don't remember that. But yeah, I think I've seen that because, like I said, there's one really good picture of Elvis on the side of the sidewalk mm -hmm. at his car, leaning up against his car with the house that's behind him. Yeah. And it, right. it, 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 it's like the house was up on a little hill. Right here is Lauderdale Courts. Elvis's uh, Winchester apartment was right over here in this area. But right here, we would be in his home here on Alabama Avenue after he left Lauderdale. They made too much money one year in Lauderdale, so they got kicked out, and they came over here to a house that was sitting right here on this land on Alabama Avenue. So right behind where Elvis and Vernon and Gladys lived here on Alabama Avenue is now a busy interstate, and you probably pass it all the time if you're over here in Memphis. You never know where Elvis used to be once upon a time. Okay, I'm going to try to unravel this so you can understand it. Right here is where they lived at Lauderdale Court. Right here is where they lived on Alabama Avenue. We're going to zoom way down, and right here is Alabama. So we're going to figure out which house it was on Alabama and what it looks like as opposed to Lauderdale. So this is a more zoomed in view. I'm going to point out a few things. This right here is Winchester. They lived far to the left down Winchester at the end of Lauderdale. This right here is Lauderdale, the units that Bill Black and his family lived in, his mother. This photograph was taken up across the street. That's Alabama behind them. About there is where they're standing. So if you look in this photograph to the left of the house that is behind them, you see a house a little further back. That house is right here. So now let's look at a photo of the front of the apartment that Elvis lived at on 462 Alabama. You notice there is a white A-frame to the left of that apartment right there. You see that A-frame? That was right here. So remember back, I was talking about the crook in the sidewalk. Remember the sidewalk went and then turned kind of at a left angle. That is a photo of it. You see how the sidewalk is going to my left and then it looks like it's coming straight towards me. Let me show you where that happened at and why. There's a simple explanation for it. Check this out. So if you look at this aerial, right there is the beginning of Alabama Street. That's Alabama and Thomas. And you can see that the width from the corner to the corner is not very wide and it looks like the sidewalk is going to the right. You see that? It's kind of leaning to the right right here. Right here is where the crook starts, which is in front of the second apartment, the one to the right of where Elvis lived at. And then you can see that the it goes all the way down straight. The reason for that is so cars can park in front of these apartments. So now I go back to the photograph of the lady standing there. You see the crook is to the left of the rear of the car and that fire plug is right there by the crook. The fire hydrant's hidden by the C-pillar of the car. It's right there behind the crook. She's standing in front of her apartment right here. In fact, this car right here is about where her car was parked. I also want to point out something else in this photo. You see there's two houses back and then there's one house that's at the street and you see that porch sticking off. That house is right here. So now let's examine where this photo was taken at as opposed to the houses. I'll show you really quickly where it was at. He was parked right here. And you'll see the fire hydrant is right there on that side of the street. So it all happened right here, friends. That house is on that spot where we showed you, no doubt. That is where it was. Luckily, it didn't get taken by I-40, which goes through here now. 
And when they put it in, it took quite a few Elvis things. That right there is the Alabama house. This is where they lived on Lauderdale. This is where Elvis was at the Suzor's Theater when he got the call from Dewey Phillips. That photo happened on that street. This photo happened on that street. This is the apartment. That photo happened on that street. And finally, this photo happened on that street. So next time you're in Memphis, make sure you go find that spot, friends. Trey and I tightened up. He used his Starsky-like research skills. Skills. He has Starsky skills too, friends. Not Hutch. And tightened up and figured out where that house was. Yes, indeed, he did. Thanks for watching Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble, subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost you a thing, and you stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday. And special ones here and there. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.